Well, here I am. Uh, trying to make some quick breakfast. Kind of run out of most of the supplies. So, this is an Indian trick. They usually call this Panchamrutam. That means five ingredients which make into an elixir of life. But I think for the level of hunger I have, <laughs> I'll put more than five ingredients and make it better than that. So, because kind of run out of vegetables and everything that can be in the refrigerator is gone. Ah, my lovely bananas are the only things, fortunately, you can't keep them in the refrigerator, so they're doing fine. So this is a simple Indian trick, cutting up the bananas, adding some honey, ghee, curd, and uh, let me see, the curd I think is still in good condition, so I think, think. slice the bananas into thin slices, depending on how you want it. If you want a little mushy, make it really thin, otherwise just like this. There are many uh, uh, claims and things which says if you eat panchamrata with all these five ingredients properly, balanced within it. It is definitely supposed to be very good for any kind of thyroid balancing. I don't have any thyroid issues, <laughs> but no, no problem in keeping everything balanced because it's very vital for body and mind and overall well-being of any human being. So, thyroid is one thing. There are also some people in Ayurveda saying that it is a good cancer preventive. I've really not looked at it. So I don't have any issues per se, but I have one issue. Not a very efficient refrigerator, so I've run out of food. So this Indian trick can make a substantial breakfast. <laughs> I've, I've made this any number of times when I was living on the farm alone. And uh, this kept me going. Local bananas and a few ingredients. Even if you don't have all of them, you can still do it. And There you are. Well, here is some jaggery. This is actually palm sugar, but even regular jaggery will do uh, because I'm super hungry. And <laughs> no control on me all along. So I'm adding extra jaggery. Mm. Palm sugar, literally, from the palm trees. Ghee, hey, ghee, 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 ghee. I'm uh, not much for this ghee business, so I put little. You can put whatever you want. Mm. This is important. Without cardamom, it won't get the necessary flavor. I, this is not a cooking show, this is a survival show, okay? <laughs> 
This is not a cooking show. This is... If you are just stuck with a bunch of bananas, how to survive? <laughs> That's what it's about. <laughs> Uh, well, today I'm because, uh, <laughs> because I have a little time, I kind of explore a bit of technology and I got two cameras going. Can you see that? I hope the other cameras got my face or just cut me up in two. I don't know. <laughs> Is that good? Yeah. Need to put a little cardamom. This is not about how you can go bananas. This is just about a strange situation happening in your life that <laughs> you're hungry and you are stuck with a bunch of bananas. Here it is. And uh, I hope there is some... Ah, uh, this is the problem with me a little bit. You don't keep things back in its places, hard to find. <laughs> I've been traveling for the last 39 years without... I'm generous with honey because probably till late evening, this is the only meal I'm going to have because I'm not eating outside. Everything is all within. It's a problem to get the honey off the spoon. There's only one trick. Hmm? Hmm. That's the only thing that works. I've been using honey for a long time in so many different ways. The only way to get honey <laughs> off the... off the... Hmm. Fortunately, fortunately, very fortunately, well, the curd or yogurt is not in its best condition, it's gone a bit sour, but still usable. That's why I added extra honey. Fortunately, 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 these are all Indian tricks. I've lived, uh, I've uh, lived like this on the farms alone by myself, where my only diet was either groundnut or coconut. So, <laughs> groundnut or coconut, where if you have a fresh coconut, unbroken, well, you got packaged food for a month, two months, even three months if you want. At one time, I have been months on end like this, just soaked groundnut and banana. <laughs> and uh, banana was the lowly poor man's food and I survived on that quite a bit because uh, you could hang a bunch of banana and uh, just make your life with that. Otherwise, I kept coconuts, unbroken coconuts. And when you get too hungry, nothing else to eat, drink the water and eat the kernel. It keeps you nourished. It kept me alive and well for a long time. You have to agree with that. Today, yeah, Panchamritam turning a little luxurious because, as I said, probably, not probably, most probably, this is the only meal of the day till late evening. And I have to drive 
Maybe I'll do some walkabout outside. And then this, these are just a few raisins. See, these are all good things, dry fruits and stuff, because uh, they survive without refrigeration and you survive without starvation. <laughs> these are good things. They put enough juice back into you one way or the other. So normally it's five ingredients, but I think I put more. Banana, coconut, honey, palm sugar or jaggery, ghee, bit of curd. I hope it won't make things turn sour for me. Because uh, they've not been well, curd has not been well preserved. So I put a little, and here, I even have some cashew nuts. And cut them up a little bit so that they don't, so that the nuts don't stand out as it does in the world. Uh, <laughs> no, no, I'm just being not so nice, but uh, what would I have stopped? When a man is hungry, he normally gets angry, but I am not angry. I am hungry, so you must afford. You must allow me a little bit of nastiness. So I spend so much time with nuts and nuts all over the place. So I can't uh, stay, spend one day without nuts. So adding cashew nuts, these are wonderful things. And above all, even cashew nuts. When I trekked. When I had my long treks in Himalayas all by myself, it was largely cashew nuts, raisins, you know, the copra or the dried coconut, which has kept me alive. I have not forgotten them. I'm always grateful to them. So I always carry them wherever I am. These things are there because <laughs> my life has been such that not always proper meals come my way. Except it's been coming my way pretty well during this pandemic because I've been home, either in India or here. But once again, the wanderlust, once again, the nomadic lust got me back into this uh, little camper. No, no, it's just a lot of work to do. The only way that we can do without getting infected in hotels and other places is uh, by being in a camper, a moving home. <sighs> Some people think camper is a luxury. No, a lot of work every day. When your house is moving, there is a lot of work. Here it is, my breakfast, and uh, today I'm uh, on a technical high, <laughs> tech high, because uh, I'm using two cameras at the same time. Can you beat this? <laughs> you like my breakfast? Sorry, this is all I have today, and you're too far away. <laughs>